Hi, this is Yardine Frankel from Honest Reporting's Jerusalem office. This week, the New York Times Sunday Magazine has a cover story which paints a romantic vision of a Palestinian village. In this village, we're told, they espouse nonviolent protests, except their form of nonviolence involves stone throwing. The reporter de-emphasizes the impact that stone throwing can have, and he quotes the little boy who just says he's doing what he can. There's even a photo gallery that accompanies the story called The Resisters. We see these pictures of children with flags marching to a protest. And this little boy, don't worry, he's not dead. He's just pretending, lying in a doorway. And this child hiding from the evil Israeli soldiers. But stone throwing is violent. There are many victims of Palestinian stone throwing. Just this week, a family was attacked on the roads. And now this little girl is fighting for her life. This is unacceptable journalism, and it's biased, and you shouldn't let the New York Times continue to publish this way. Write to them. The link is below in the description. And for more on anti-Israel media bias, please come to the Honest Reporting website and sign up to get our free weekly emails. And look for us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks.